Good morning. I welcome you all to our session. It's a special session to discuss GSLV D6. And before that, I wish you all very, very happy Raksha Bandhan. Hope you are celebrating very nicely. So let me talk to you regarding GSLV now. So this is one of the very, very advanced satellite launch vehicle of India. This launch vehicle has been developed indigenously by ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. Of course, our journey started in the year 1969. Slowly and steadily we are progressing. Hence, we are in a position to develop our own satellite launch vehicles and these are the indigenously developed launch vehicles in various number of classes i was talking to you regarding this row i used various terms like slv aslv pslv now this is a gslv so slowly over a period of time so we are increasing the capacity and india has reached a milestone where we, we have fixed our position beside so many other advanced nations in the world. And with respect to this GSLV D6, it has been launched very recently. I was also referring to this point in our recent current affairs. And the beautiful thing is that it has been launched very successfully and we have launched a communication satellite through this. That is the GSAT 6. That the GSAT 6 has been placed very effectively in the orbit. And of course, this GSLV it uses three types of fuels. First stage we use a solid, second one is the liquid fuel, and third stage is the that is a cryogenic. So, what exactly is a cryogenic engine? Cryogenic engine is a engine so where the liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen is used as the fuel. And with this success, so Indian confidence, our ISTRO's confidence has increased very rapidly. So that what happens in future, we may plan for better programs. And this is the second time that we have launched a satellite. So with a weightage of more than two tons. And basically GSLV is meant for launching the satellites with the capacity or the weightage of more than 2000 kilograms. And it has been done very successfully. So regarding that GSLV, it's a milestone. Now let me show you the documents and talk to you regarding that. Last but not least, always an important question for any examination is the, the chairman of ISRO. The chairman is the current chairman is the A.S. Kiran Kumar. Kindly remember this. Of course, entire India is very happy with our great launch and great success. And the more happiest man in the country is Mr. A.S. Kiran Kumar. Because under his chairmanship, this has been launched. But otherwise, it's a proud moment for entire nation and also for every citizen in the country. So let me open the document straight away to you. Look at this. GSLV stands for Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle. And this is the GSLV D6. It was launched on August 27th, 2015. Very, very recently, just a day before yesterday. At the time, of course, it's a general information I have given that will not be a question in any examination. But with respect to GSLV D6, so this is the ISRO's heavier rocket. And look at this, it's a 49.1 meter tall and 416 tons of the weight. So very, very huge weight. And as you all know, I was discussing this point with you so many number of times. Our launching station is there in Sri Harikota, that is called Sharp. And this Sri Harikota is located in a district called Nelluru 
and the district is a part of Andhra Pradesh. And just before that one, have a look at this. On August 24th, 2015, the launch was cleared by ISRO's Mission Readiness Review Committee. So that's a separate committee which will give the permissions. And it has been given permission by two agencies. One is the Mission Readiness Review Committee and the Launch Authorization Board. And the permission has been given, it has been cleared. That's the reason why immediately after that it has been launched. Look at this. So with this, what happened is that with the GSLV D6, the satellite that was launched is the GSAT 6, it's a communication satellite. And that was put into the orbit. And the weightage of this is GSAT 6 is 2117 kilograms. It's more than two tons, please. Look at this. And of course, in this one, the propellant weight itself is 1132 kilograms and the dry mass of the satellite is the 985 kilograms. So put it together, GSAT 6 weight is the 2117 kilograms. Look at this. So this is the fifth time the developmental satellite base, the GSLV is carrying the satellites above, above two tons. And of course, out of these five, three were failures and one was a success and one is the latest to success. That is nothing but the GSLV D6. And GSLV is a three stage engine rocket. Just now I was telling you, look at this. The first stage is fired with solid fuel. And the second stage is with the liquid fuel and the third stage is the cryogenic engine. So this is the place I am talking about. In GSLV, we use the cryogenic engine and this is also indigenously developed cryogenic engine. This is the place where we use liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen as the fuel. Look at this next one. Look at this. The GSAT-6 satellite it provides a communication through five spot beams in S band and a national beam in C band for strategic users. So this is mostly used for the military communication. It's one of the fantastic things that India has developed and India is happy and our strategic forces are strengthened with this particular satellite. Look at this next point. GSAT-6 is India's 25th geostationary communication satellites and this is a 12th in GSAT series. It is not the first time that communication satellite has been launched including GSAT 6 it is the 25th time but in the GSAT series it is the 12th one. An important point for the examination is that what is the life expectancy of a GSAT? GSAT 6 answer is 9 years. Am I clear? And this is the largest satellite antenna realized by ISRO. Anything may be a question in the examination. But if you are writing civil services main examination, you are expected to write down all the points. Look at this. After GSAT-6 is injected into the orbit, it will be monitored by master control facility that is located in Hassan. Hassan is a place in Karnataka, kindly run that. We are launching from Andhra Pradesh, but the monitoring will take place from Bengaluru. So this is how the ISRO will function from various places in the country and ultimate aim is to see that this particular satellite is a successful one. Am I clear? So just to remember these points and in the future classes we will come to know about the duty current affairs and discuss what exactly is the status of this GSAT 6. Okay. Last but not least, I told you this point already. The current chairman of ISRO is A.S. Kiran Kumar. Is that okay? So this is with respect to GSAT-6. It is a satellite that has been launched through GSLV D6. Fine. And that's all regarding this GSLV D6. And I'll take leave of you now. And have a wonderful day, wonderful Saturday, wonderful Raksha Bandhan. And I'll see you with current affairs sometime later.
so thank you so much for being with me and i wish you all the very very best have a fantastic time